but we're true blue fans play for the pride and honour of our footy clubs. Now, ladies, gentlemen, and footy fans everywhere, please welcome the host of Dropkick, Matt Tilly. Oh, that was a little low, I must say. Welcome to the Telstra Dome. We're here to play the game called Dropkick. No prizes, we're just looking for the smartest side in the AFL. Let's see if we find them tonight. First of all, we are joined by the West Coast Eagles captain, Big Alex Ashenko. Yeah. Rodney Howe from the Melbourne Storm, make him welcome. He skipped across the coast. And Matty the Mad Weagles fan, plus a few Weagles fans who've made the trip all the way across from Perth here to the Telstra Dome. And tonight they are playing the Navy Blues, captain by Brendan Favola. Yeah. From Stingers we have Kate Kendall. And Rob, who is the cheer squad co-captain, plus a few Navy Blues fans. Let's go berserk for them. Please, everybody, the Weagles and the Blues. All right. This is where we calm down a bit. We have the mania. We run through the banner. And then we find out a little bit of gossip about everyone. Big Alex Ashenko. I know Big's probably not on your passport, but that's what everyone calls you, isn't it? That's right, yeah. Now, uh, you played for all manner of teams, but were the Weagles your favourite? They certainly were the early days, so uh, I mean I'm a West Australian many, many years ago mm -hmm. and uh, lived there all my life up until I uh, moved away. It was about 23, 24, so... And now, just by the sounds of your voice, you work on the 0055 numbers over there, do you? <laughs> <laughs> a little bit sexy? You reckon there could be a future here? I think there could, mate. I think there could. All right, congratulations on a terrific career and welcome along tonight. Good luck as captain of the Weagles. To your right, oh, it's dangerous territory, ladies and gentlemen. We're talking uh, ARL, but we do welcome him along across to the golden side of sport. Rodney Howe from the Melbourne Storm. Hello, Rodney. Thank you. Otherwise known as the Beast, sort of sums it up a bit, doesn't it? No, it's a nickname I like to shake. All right. Uh, well, then I won't say it again. <laughs> Judging from that glint in your eye. Uh, now you've uh, got a few knee problems. We have knee problems in footy as well. Uh, but neck problems are they a big injury for the uh, ARL guys as well? Yeah. NRL, no, ARL. Yeah, we've got a guy at the moment who's out for a year for broken neck from last year. Yeah. Oh dear. And of course, we've been snickering and laughing at you blokes because you're so rough. You punch each other and they just give you a pat on the bum. You're all right, mate. Pay rise. Uh, do you think? Do you think amongst your blokes that footy is seen as a little bit wussier than your code? Yes. All right. <laughs> The door is that way. <laughs> <laughs> All right, mate, welcome along and thank you for joining us here. Uh, we like to help out your code any way we can. <laughs> All right, Matt, you're a big Weagles fan. The West Coast Eagles are your life. And uh, you've got the chambray shirt and the uh, scarf on, so you look like one of those corporate box types. What do you do with yourself? I'm in event management, mate. Oh, well, there you go. You so... are quite a uh, fancy pants sort of guy. And what do you organise? <laughs> I, I hear that you uh, do surfing carnivals. Yeah, that's right. We do a few major surfing carnivals here in Australia and in the United States. So... Did you do uh, Bell's Beach at Easter? Yes, we did. Organised everything but the surf. They do it every year, don't they? Yeah. <laughs> and you sort of need it. That sort of helps, yeah. All right, and... mate. Well, good luck. Uh, you've got a couple of big fellas next to you. And uh, part of the key to the game is, you know, intimidating the other side. Let's meet him, shall we? The Navy Blues, captain by Brendan Favola. Hello, Brendan. How are you, Matt? Now, Rodney was telling me before, he reckons you look like one of his mates in the uh, league code. We might have a picture here. There he is. <laughs> <laughs> Not too dissimilar. I'm trying to remember what his name is. Willie Mason. Willie Mason is his name. And, of course, the Blues and the Bulldogs got a lot in common. Curly-haired blokes and cheating for premierships. That's a wonderful <laughs> synergy that you have. <laughs> OK, all right, all right. At least you didn't get your points taken off you like those guys. Yeah, exactly. But, mate, you're having a superstar time of it now under Dennis Pagan. You really enjoying him? Uh, yeah, he's been great so far. He's got curly hair. Do you think that's the... <laughs> that's why he likes <laughs> yeah, him? Yeah, it might have something to do with that. All right, mate. Well, good luck tonight as Thanks, captain. Mate. Kate Kendall, welcome along. Thank you. You, of course, are in Stingers now in its seventh series. Uh, but I, I am reliably informed you're an accomplished horse rider. So why don't we see you on McLeod's daughters? I mean, <laughs> from what no I can chance. gather, old McLeod was a bit of a root rat with all those daughters. <laughs> Surely they could bring another one in, couldn't they? Well, why not? You know, there's no reason why I can't arrest someone on a horse. All right, now you're a Mad Blues fan, and of course we're very excited tonight because your partner, who you share a house with, joins us. It is none other than Wayne Johnson. He is uh, the in dominator. the crowd. The Dominator. I think we're going to get a shot of him. Of course, if we don't see him later on, I'm sure we'll hear him cough at the right time. <laughs> One for yes, two for no. Yeah, we've got to sort Mate, it out. Uh, how's she going to go tonight? 
Uh, her general knowledge is pretty good. Um, pretty good? Her uh, understanding of the football club is pretty good, providing the questions are OK. And uh, to the point, I'm sure Kate and uh, Brendan will go OK. All right, mate. Well, good luck up there with the rabble. Uh, sorry you can't be down here amongst the superstars, but uh, you certainly are a superstar of the game. Oh, Let's make him welcome, that. everyone, the Dominator. Yeah. Finally, Rob, we have to welcome you, Rob Centorino. You're the co-president of correct. the cheer squad. Now, is that male and female president, or are you just... Male and female. Oh, I like that. I bet that wasn't around when Jack Elliott was in charge of the club. I've got no idea. You've got no idea generally, or just about that? <laughs> just about that. If, it's, if it's generally, we better ask you to leave and get the Dominator down. Now, I am, uh, I'm reliably informed also that you guys played in a cheer squad match against the Hawks cheer squad. That's correct, that's last year. That, uh, that was last year. You missed one from 10 metres out. Yeah, on the field. Bang in front. Pressure. Pressure. And do the players make the banner for you during that game? Uh, they should. There'd be plenty of spelling errors that day. You reckon there's a couple? All right, well, welcome along, mate. Good luck to the Blues. Good luck to the Weagles. Let's get started, shall we? Let's find out how you play this game. It's just like footy. The more questions you answer correctly, the more you get the ball. You want to get to the 50-metre line so you can kick a goal. Two ways you can do that. Long bomb or chip kick. The long bomb question is one question in three parts. Everybody has to have a go on the side to kick a goal. The chip kick, two easier questions. Two people get a go at answering those. It's a goal as well. Now... Should things get a little nasty, either side can play their tackle paddle. Gentlemen, can we see the tackle paddle? You need to hold that up loud and proud. Soon as you do, the other side loses possession and you guys get the footy, wherever it may be on the ground. You also are each entitled to one handball, so questions a little bit, you know, I'm not sure about this. Handball it on, person next to you can do that. Rodney, you can just chuck it on if you like. OK, I know a handball's a little bit too skillful. One per person for the entire game. All right. If it gets confusing, we have a totally unbiased umpire who never played for any of these sides. Not. Please welcome David Rhys-Jones. <laughs> uh, the show's set in a bar. The Dominator's here. You, yeah. We're going to have to wake you at about 3 a.m. <laughs> no, I'll be right, mate. Times. No, I'll umpire like I played. Hard but fair. All right, harsh but fair. <laughs> <laughs> Okie dokie, mate. And uh, is it good to see Good to see the, the Blues here tonight? You... It is good to see, yeah. They're but you're still of... fair? Yeah, we're in a bit of form too, so that's All good. All right. All right. Very well done, mate. We love having you along because you are firm but fair. Well, really firm, actually. <laughs> uh, so good luck to everyone. We're going to start this game with a ball-up question. <laughs> Everybody, everybody has their hands on their buses because you can all answer this to win possession. Which veteran who retired last year played 321 games for the Saints? <laughs> Brendan. Stuart Lowe. Stewie Lowe is correct. <laughs> well, the Blues are off to a great start. You've got the footy as your captain. You start it, all right? It's trying to get to the 50-metre line. Ella Hooper. Ella Hooper is the lead singer of which Aussie rock band? I don't know a band Killing called. Killing Heidi, maybe? Killing Heidi, is that your answer? Yeah. That is correct. <laughs> I like your nonchalance. Killing <laughs> Heidi, <laughs> maybe. Good Same. answer. All right, Kate, it's up to you now. You're on the 50 metre line. You've got to have a little powwow here, you guys, and decide, are you going to do a long bomb or a chip kick for goal? Go to chip. Chip kick? Yep. What did you think, Rob? Doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Although it's only the Collingwood cheer squad where they don't get a say in things, isn't that's it? That's right. Eddie controls it. Yeah, yeah that's right. No. <laughs> Good on you, mate. All righty. Chip kick it is. What sport would you be watching if a player yelled four? Cricket. Pardon? <laughs> if a player yelled four. Oh. Four. Do you want a handball or are you saying... No, Think about it. <laughs> <laughs> see someone try to use sex appeal on the footy field. <laughs> <laughs> Looks at the umpire and goes... <laughs> oh, come on, um. I don't know. She said <laughs> No, nothing. Sorry, no points there, no nothing. It was, of course, golf uh, where you yell for. Cricket, you don't yell for, it's signal But four. no, if I'm a player and cricket side, I'd go for. If you keep arguing, <laughs> if you keep arguing, we'll turn it into a rugby league and I'll send you off. <laughs> All righty, the ball is now uh, on Carlton's... 50 metre line, but it's with the Weagles. Alex, you get to answer this to try and move it to your forward line. Can you tell me, in which Australian state would you find Mount Buller? Victoria. Victoria's correct. 
West Coast Eagles are in the back of the centre of the ground. Rodney, uh, I'm going to ask you, can you name the song that had this line? All my troubles seem so far away. I'm not going to sing it. There's a song where it goes, All my troubles seem so far away. No idea. You sure? It's a classic. It's not the Hawthorne Club song. Uh, uh, uh. No. Shh. All right, I'm sorry, that's a... No, we're not even going to say you took too long. Yesterday by the Beatles is the answer to that, of course. Ball is still in the centre of the ground. It's now across Carlton's hands. Rob, are you ready? Right. You're a sexy man with that Craig David beard, I must say, too. <laughs> Thank very, you. very sexy. Although you're not wearing the tea cosy like he does. All right, name one of the three men who are the regular panel members... Oh, this is a blatant plug. For Fox Footy's Monday night program titled The Couch. Jared Healy. Jared Healy's correct. Would have had. Mike Sheehan and Robert Walls, and of course Paul Couch, who it was named after. All righty, Blues, you are on the forward line. You've got to make a decision. That's why you're muckering away there. You're going to chip kick or long bomb. Chip kick again. The host of this year's Academy Awards is currently starring in a film called Bringing Down the House. You can handball if you like. Oh, he's got. Bloody grey hair, what's his name? How? Bloody grey hair. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I got no idea. No idea. Oh. Steve Martin is the That's answer we were looking for. Sorry, blue baggers. West Coast Eagles have the ball, but it's on the Carlton 50. Questions with you, Matt? Yep. Recently becoming a TV celebrity was which rock star who was the lead singer of Black Sabbath? Ozzy Osbourne. Ozzy Osbourne's yeah. correct. West Coast Eagles back in the centre of the ground. Questions with you, Alex. Okay. Big Alex, sorry. Got your name wrong there. Okay. Complete the saying, as sober as a... Judge. Judge is correct. <laughs> I would have accepted football, footballer on an end-of-season trip as well, just for a laugh. All right, you guys are on your forward line. What are you going to do? Are you going to chip kick or long bomb? Long bomb. Right? Long bomb, yeah. all right. It's a ballsy way to play the game. All right, this question has three parts. Each of you must answer a part. We start with you, Rodney. Give me, please, if you wouldn't mind, the name of any winners of the last four Wimbledon men's singles. The last four. Leighton Hewitt. Leighton Hewitt is one. All righty. Matt, let's sneak across to you. Pete Sampras. Pete Sampras, who won twice, of course, so it was a bit of a tricky question. Alex, we need just one more. Come on! Can you come up with his name? Yeah. Ivan Izovich. Is that how you say it? Yes, Ivan Izovich is oh, correct. Yeah. Yeah. It's a goal of the West Coast Eagles. They're on the scoreboard. They lead one goal straight, six points to the Blues. Yet to score. All righty, we're in the centre of the ground. It's a ball up question. So everybody gets a chance. Can you tell me, the last player from Adelaide who topped the goal kicking, what was his name? Brendan. Tony Modra. Tony Modra's spot on, mate. <laughs> OK, the Blues have got the ball. Questions with you, Kate. Uh -huh. All right. The steamy looks you're giving me. They're not going to work. They might work on race. <laughs> to what corner must a boxer go if he knocks down his opponent? It's called the something corner. Not what? naughty. <laughs> <laughs> Well, as opposed to his own, or...? Oh, here we go. <laughs> here we go. <laughs> the red corner. No, not the red corner. I'm afraid it's the neutral corner where he must oh. go. No, no, no. Unfortunately, you're getting all the sport ones. There are movie and TV questions to come, I assure you. All right, the ball's in the centre of the ground. It's with the West Coast Eagles. Rodney, can you tell me comedian Glenn Robbins plays which character in the TV series All Aussie Adventures? What's the name of the bloke? Uh, Russell Coit. Russell Coit's yeah. correct. Eagles crowd game. Are you going to wave that flag at all, sir? Smug, though. That's it. Good on you. Didn't want it to go to waste. All right, guys, what are you going to do? I've given you a bit of time there to make the decision. Chip kick or long bomb? Long bomb again. Already. Long bomb again. They favour the long bomb. Starts with you, Matt. I want you to name one of the Daddo brothers, please. Cameron. Cameron is one on the board. Alex? Andrew. Andrew is correct. Rodney, you can handball or you did do your little wussy passy thingy. <laughs> do you want a handball? Yeah, I'll handball. Handball he does, Matt. Lockie. Lockie's correct! Yeah! The West Coast Eagles have banged another one through. It's half time, there go 
goes the siren. The West Coast Eagles lead two goals straight. Carlton, sad faces, please. <laughs> They're yet to score. They're on no points. We'll come back after this break. It's the championship half here on Dropkick. Yeah. Dome. It's pretty much a massacre at this stage. The West Coast Eagles are leading two goals straight. The Blues, yet to score. Boo. That's your job, not me. There we go. The crowd are going berserk. Everyone's a bit excited because... Uh, if that's berserk, I need a head check. Uh, we're going to start the game with the ball up and see if the Blues can make their way back into this game. Okie dokie, everybody. Hands on buzzers. You can all answer this. Who is the current captain of... Essendon. Brendan Favoli. Very quick. James Hurd. James Hurd's correct. <laughs> All right. You guys have got the ball in the centre of the ground. Rob, I'm going to ask you to watch that little screen in front of you. This is a visual question. Who is this bloke? We're going to have a look at some footage here. There we go. Now, if you're listening carefully, you might have heard half his name. <laughs> He is, of course, from the Dockers. He wears number 26. Clive Waterhouse. Clive Waterhouse is correct. We don't need to see any more footage. All right, Blues, you're on the 50-metre line. Brendan, as captain, have a chat to your team. Do they want a chip kick or a long ball? Oh, look at it. It's madness. They're going berserk in here. Yeah, we'll go to the chip kick again. I think they're Richmond fans. They're turning on their own. Chip kick. All righty. Uh, you have to answer the first question. Cascade Lager is brewed in which state of Australia? Tasmania. Tasmania. Yeah. That's correct. Now, uh, of course... Oh, oh dear. Tackle already. Yep. Alex we'll Schenker. Go. Well, 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 I'm sorry about that, Blues. That means you lose the ball. It goes back to your 50. Why back? Why not? Why not smell it? If you haven't played it. Oh. Excellent play. So, you get the question. Very, very good. We need a right now, <laughs> tackles have been used. Were you happy with that umpire? That was terrific. Yeah, you used to like that. <laughs> that all looks good to you. All righty. Now, this is for a goal. All right, Kate? You are right in front of goals. Uh, and if you miss, it's only a behind. And this is a behind as well. Tell me, whose behind is this? We're going to have a look at this. Whose behind is that? It's a monster. Tiny Lockett? Tiny Lockett, it's yeah. a goal, Blues! <laughs> you can tell she's an actress. You really enjoyed that, didn't you? Sat there for a while, I counted to three. It. Great answer. All right, Thank the Blues you. are now on the scoreboard. They're only a goal down, which is one straight kick. We're back in the centre of the ground. Ball up question. <laughs> All right, this is a tricky one. Uh, who is going to be prepared to sing the first two lines of the Collingwood theme song for me? <laughs> Brendan, you've been spot off the ball here. Fantastic. Here we go. Good old Collingwood forever. Louder. We know how to play the game. That's correct. Yeah. <laughs> what a performance. Thank you. That's the last one. Must have broken your heart. <laughs> <laughs> I also, there's a bit of a move there amongst the board to change it to Eddie, no, Eddie, Eddie. No, I wanted Eddie. it. Oi, oi, no, I oi. wanted it. All right, well done, guys. That's terrific. Uh, you've got the footy, Kate. It's your question. What name is given to a small piece of sponge? This is a girly question. Sponge cake, you dip it in chocolate, then you put coconut on it, and it's called a... A rum ball. A rum ball? Well, technically, yes. Yeah. I mean, I can... Uh, Reese, chocolate and coconut. Oh, Lamington. <laughs> I've got no Come idea. on, you're mad in the kitchen. Lamington. Lamington. I need to ask, didn't it come down between you and Aristos for that show? Yeah, well, I'll leave You're that one You're going to accept it? Yes, yes, we will accept Rumble. Yeah. They are, they are cakey in the middle and then they have chocolate and coconut, but of course Lamington was the main one we're looking for. Well done to you, Kate. Chip kick. Here's a chance to level the score, Blues. Chip what are you going to do? Chip kick? All right, just have a belt of that vodka there, Brendan, you'll be right. <laughs> Rob, first question for you. Yep. In The Simpsons, who is the son of Chief Wiggum? Ralph. Ralph's correct. Yeah. All right, Speedy Gonzalez, you're bang in front. You get this right, and uh, you're going to kick another goal and level the scores. In Thailand, there is a small island spelt P H U K 
E.T. How do you say that, Ireland? Phuket. 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 Phuket is correct. That's a goal for the Blues. They are storming back. It's anyone's game now, of course, because scores are level. Two goals each, 12 points. Scores are tied. Everyone hands on buzzers. Can you tell me who is the current coach of Geelong? Oh, my goodness. Bomber Thompson. Bomber Thompson is correct. A lot of women watching the show going, he's very sexy, but if he's that quick all the time, I don't know if I fancy him in the Okie dokie, what are you going to do, Kate? You're going to answer this question. Through which part of their body or what do fish use to breathe? What's that called? Their, their gills. Their gills is right. <laughs> Decision time again, Blues. You are just blitzing it. What are you going to we'll do? do a chip kick again. Yep. Chip kick. It's a favourite <coughs> technique. All right, Rob, can you tell me who played Ned Kelly in the recent movie of the same name? Heath Ledger. Heath Ledger's correct. <laughs> it's a set play. They get it to Brendan and he's bang in front. Mate, name the song from which this famous line came. Regrets, I've had a few. Don't help him. I'll hand pass it to Kate because I think right. she knows. I did it my way. Yes! <laughs> the boys have hit the lead, three goals straight. 18 points to 12. In fact, with lines like regrets, I've had a few, the whisper is that Warney and Spider Everett are going to do a duet of that song. <laughs> Release it for Christmas. All righty, back in the centre of the ground. Are we still awake, West Coast Eagles? Yep. Getting any Come on, slap the yourselves on the face. Come on, give Rodney Howe a slap on the face, <laughs> Matty. He's used to it. <laughs> He's used to it. God, we've got to fire him up somehow. Hands on buzzers. In 1999, which Melbourneian became the youngest person to sail solo around the Alex? Oh, thank Christ, I got one. <laughs> Jesse Martin. Jesse Martin is correct. Right. Question remains with you as Captain Big Alex. Uh, who's the current captain of the Kangaroos? Anthony Stevens. Anthony Stevens, there we go. They've got the answers. They need to score quickly. What are you going to do, guys? Chip kick or long bomb? Us. Long bomb. Long bomb. All righty. <laughs> Okie dokie. You might regret that decision. They are the tougher questions, but it's a more direct way to go. We're going to start with you, Rodney. Can you name one of the four wiggles? And I won't accept colour. <laughs> Jeff. Jeff's correct. The one who has to wake up. We all know Jeff. Matt? One of them was a Cleo Bachelor of the Year, no less. Pass. Hand pass. You got Anthony. Kids? Anthony is correct. Yeah. All right, this is to level the score. There's one left. We've had Jeff and Anthony. There's two others you can choose from, but you need to choose one. Mark? Mark. I'm afraid not. <laughs> Greg or Murray, it's a behind. So they're two goals, one third, and the Blues are on three goals straight over. an absolute purple patch after half time. We'll go to the stats now. Brendan Favola, my goodness, eight out of nine, by far and away statistically the best tonight. Very, very quick. Alex Shenko had seven out of seven, so percentage wise, very, very good from you too. The rest all faded away. Unfortunately, Rodney, three out of five. You're not a footy man. Bold effort, I think. Now, we must ask the umpire, who was the best on ground tonight, David Rhys-Jones? Oh, I think it's pretty easy. When you look at the other five heads, Kate wins it easily. Kate! <laughs> Tell me, David, yes. Well, I'm fine there from you, David Rhys Jones, and didn't she play for that award all night? All righty, it's been a terrific win to the Blues. Terrific to see them uh, going so well. Three goals straight. We are back here next week, but before we go, we want to thank everyone who played tonight Alex Schenko, Rodney Howe, Matt the Mad Weagles fan, Brendan Favola, Kate Kendall, good luck with Stingers, and Robbie, well done to you. Thank You've you. shared in the glory. This has been Dropkick. We'll see you back here next week. Yeah.